Hi everyone. How do you do today? Thanks for all your support. Thanks for all your comment. Thanks for all the likes. And thank you all our subscribers. If today is your first time of coming across my video, I want to say be welcome. I appreciate you. And I know you will not regret it. Today we'll be looking into how to cut off shoulder a strike. Follow me as we go to the table for the work. Okay. Yes, I have. Here's the draft for bodies. Because if you are here to get it, I will drop the link down below the description. And then don't forget to give us thumbs up in our in this video. And so this I want to cut off off shoulder, sorry, off shoulder. And then if you have if you have known how to cut your bodies, it makes it easier. Okay. And what does it mean by half shoulder? All we want to remove is this. We want to remove the, the shoulder side there. Okay. So how much of the depth do you want? I need look at the normal bodies, the nipple point, the underboss, the waist, and the end of the sleeve, and the allowance. And I'm going to have the dart there, the the breast span and everything. So today the the depth I want there is a five. I want to take five off for my measurement. So this is my five. This is my five line. This is what I'm going to cut off. Okay. This is what I want five. This is the five I want. And from that five, I want to have a sweet neck design. So I don't want any of the, I don't want more than five tips. So I can take from my, my design from here now. I hope we can see it. Okay. So all I want is a, I want a sweet neck design. So. Sorry, I hope we can see it very well. By the time I cut it, we it can see it very well. Okay, so I just take a sweet line. Okay, so this is how my off shoulder is now. Okay, so I will place this on the fabric and I will cut it out. Okay. Okay, I will place it on the fabric. I will cut it out. Then I'm going to notch where the dart is supposed to be so that we know where I'm taking my dart. Okay. Is the front block now so i'll be cutting the back the difference between the back and the front block is the the steeper allowance which i've created here so i'll just cut, go ahead and take this so the difference is the zipper allowance here so i'll cut this back i put that the zipper allowance there so i cut it up now Okay, so the front and the back panel of it, I'm sure that is available. So, you know, you're going to remember, we're still going to pierce our darts, where the dart is, so that we don't mix them up. This is the dart place. Pierce it. Of course, pierce this place, so you know where your zipper is starting. So you cut it into two. Okay. 
this side with me. So now, what do we do? How do we get? Of course, I'm going to cut the the lining. I'm going to line it, and then I've gotten our bodies like this. So how do we get the stripe? Okay. Let me just put us through how we get the stripe. So how do we get the stripe? You are going to take the measure this way. So I have 57. So I need the circumference of 57 for the shoulder measurement. Okay, I'll measure your clients, which is a 57. So what do we do? We now measure this from here. Just leave about half inch that you're going to use as your sewing allowance. So you measure this. Measure this, leave another half allowance. So this 40, of course, with the same cutting we had for the back. So they ought to be okay. We measure the back block too. You know, this is the zip allowance, it has to be folded while you are measuring it so that it doesn't give you extra. So leave your half inch that you are going to use to sew it. This is seven. Then you have allowance here so we have 14 and a half 14 and a half plus 14 we have 28 28.5 from that uh, what do we have yes sorry we have 14 and a half 14 and a half that's 28 and a half so the front gave us 14 and the, the back gave us 14 and a half so 14 inches plus 14 and a half inches we have 28 inches okay 14.5 plus 14 it was 28 inch point five so from the total we measure 57 take away 28.5 we have five six years 16 here that's 28 we have 28.5 inches so for how to cut our stripe now so that's 28.5 we're going to divide it into two which will give us 14.2 14.25 14 14.25 is what we are going to use for our stripe okay there is the back one. Let me use the front one to establish. So there is the front one. So we need we need to share the twenty eight point five between the two stripes. That is said. So when we divide twenty eight point five into two, we have fourteen point two five twenty eight. So fourteen now going to be double 14 and a half so we have something like this for the stripe which is going to be sorry 14.25 so this is what we're going to measure for the stripe okay let me go as we measure it let's still use our paper to make this what we need is a 14.25 for each of them so you, usually when you are cutting, your cutting remains on fold. Your fabric remains on fold. So this is what we need. 14.25 plus so in allowance we have 14.75. So this is your 14.75. So let's mark our 14.75. Okay. And what is the width you want? The wideness of your of the stripe. I want three and a half. With sewing allowance, I have four. So this is my four. Remember, this is a seven point seven point seven five. Okay, seven point seven five. So you are going to add one and a half, 1.5 inches to this. 1.5 inches. If you add 1.5 inches, that should give us about uh, 
8.75 should give us about 9.25 so you mark your 9.25 here 9.25 okay let's connect them together So that comes it. You now cut this one like this. So we cut it out. With this one, it will help you to have enough free movement under your armpit. Sorry, arm O. Okay. I haven't cut it like this, so when, when I'm going to cut the fabric of it, so this is how it will come, it will come like this, so there will be a no space in your apple, okay, let's go ahead and cut the fabric for the stripe, and I'm also going to cut the, the lining, so that we can start the work on time, thanks for watching, don't forget to give us thumbs up, don't forget to like and click on that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, just subscribe. Huh? So that each time we upload, we'll be among the first people to receive it. God bless you. Thank you. Help us to grow and you will grow. Bye. Cutting the the stripe. This is our template. So place it like this. I'll cut it out. Okay. This will not need any lining. Okay, I've cut the lining for the the fabric we are cutting. Okay, this is the front panel. I cut the line and if you see that I've also run the the dart for it. I've done run the dart for it and then I've attached it to the front side. I've not covered this side of course. Okay. And then for the back panel too, I've run my dart there and I've cut the lining for it. Okay. Now, the zipper allowance for the back panel, you will have to iron it. Open it this way and then iron this place, iron your zipper allowance because that's where we're going to place our zip. Okay, we're going to place the zip there. This is how your zip ought to be. So, what do we do? We are going to open it this way and then sew your you open the place you are here and then sew your zip face down like this by the time you sew it it's going to come like this okay so you do the same thing for the second side do the same thing for the second side too so by the time you join there your zip will be coming out this way okay on it this way that is that then we attach our we attach our lining to it attach our lining to the two sides okay then after that we're not going to go to the sleeve pardon me no sleeve stripe okay so now we have cut out our stripe and i've run my stitch so the next thing I'm going to turn it, you know, I told us that you can put a, your gun stay. I've doubled it. Instead of that, I've doubled it. So I will turn it over like this before fixing it. I haven't turned it over like this. We'll give it a good press. Then how do we fix it to our blouse? Okay. So. This is our armhole now, and I said I've joined this one. So 
you will not add it here yet so you put your attach this to it like this and then run your lining over it Roll your lining and sew it throughout to the the arm up. Then, by the time you turn it, your stripe is will be there. So let's get to the machine and see it. So I'm going to couple everything together now, and then when we see it, we know that it's. Uh,